Hi kids, today we will see a beautiful story by Sandra Dickman. The story's name is The Magic Feather. Deep in a dark forest, not far from the great glowing mountain, lived a family of bears. Big sister Bam, who was strong and brave. Big brother Hawk, who was witty and watchful. Mother Moss, who was wise and gentle. And Little Bear, who had yet to find his own special bear name. But this small bear had a big secret. Inside, he felt nothing like a bear. When his family danced, he worried he would dance all wrong. When Bam and Hawk raced up the highest trees, Little Bear didn't dare climb at all. And when the other bears fished together, he was afraid of the wild rushing water. How could he find his own name when he felt so little like a bear? One stormy night, Little Bear couldn't sleep. The wind howled in the trees and dark shadows crept towards him. Then, from beyond the great glowing mountain, Little Bear heard a different sound. Far away in the sky, he saw a strange glowing light. It was flying towards him at great speed. What could it be? Little Bear held his breath as a marvelous firebird landed softly on the forest floor. It gently laid a glowing feather in the bear's small paw. The firebird's feather shone like a bright flame. Holding it tight, Little Bear felt a spark travel through his whole body and he knew that his feather was made of magic. The firebird vanished into the night as quickly as it came. Little Bear curled up and fell into a deep soothing sleep. When he woke, Little Bear knew that something had changed. He watched the forest shadows disappear with the new light of day and he was no longer afraid. He danced with joy, swirling his beautiful feather proudly through the air. He climbed up high to visit the ravens, knowing his magic feather would catch him if he fell. And when he crossed the wild water for the first time, he was excited by the roar of the rushing river around him. Suddenly, Little Bear heard a faint and frightened cry, Help! Help! I cannot swim! A little hare was in terrible danger. Little Bear was frightened too. But he knew he had to do something. Without a second thought, Little Bear leaped to Hare's rescue and carried her to safety. Thank you, Bear! Hare cried, you saved me. You must be magic. I'm not magic, said Little Bear proudly. I've just got a magic feather. But the firebird's feather was gone. He had to find it. Little Bear turned and ran back the way he came. Did you see my feather? He asked the bears. We saw you crossing the water, but no feather. He climbed up high to ask the ravens, but they had never seen it either. Have you seen my feather? He asked the fox. I saw you dance, said fox, but I didn't see a feather. Little bear searched all day, but the magic feather was gone. Little Bear's eyes filled with tears. Had he imagined it all? Slowly, he made his way home to where Mother Moss stood waiting. 
When Little Bear had told her everything, she whispered, You know, sometimes when we don't need something anymore, we forget about it just long enough for it to disappear. Perhaps you didn't need your feather any longer. Maybe he answered quietly. You didn't think twice when hair needed you most. Mother Moss marveled. Little one, your kindness makes you shine as brilliantly as the brightest spark. And Little Bear knew she was right. That night, a little bear named Spark curled up happily and went to sleep. The world was waiting for him and he couldn't wait to explore it. And the light of the firebird's feather always burned brightly in his dreams. Hope you like this story. If you have liked it, please do like, subscribe and share it.